supposing I give you a mobile number or an email address or I give you a social media account for an employer or I give you which one else a Skype contact ID for a certain person that I want you to conduct so that you can at least have a talk and is someone who is going to employ you how do you write a message or how do you write to that person how do you start curating this because it has come to my attention that some of you don't know the courtesy of <laughs> writing to someone who doesn't know you and you need to introduce yourself in a professional way so that this person can understand that you're looking this and this and this there are some statements there are some words that you're supposed to use and there are some statements that you're supposed to include in your uh, in your introduction so that this person can understand that this is a person like this like this and is looking for this and I think you can I can help sometimes how you introduce yourself can turn you off or can give you an opportunity sometimes how you send in your uh, information to an uh, and a recruiter or sending it to a person who is uh, looking help you're looking help from can either twist this guy and give this guy an opportunity to listen to you or not an opening sentence is the key sometimes why am I saying thing? I've been able to see some of your uh, uh, written uh, let me say introduction or let me say to anyone sometimes even it doesn't matter it can be a junior person or uh, someone in an office or someone in uh, your workplace or your friend in any letter or any message you are sending to someone always have courtesy always look for words which are polite because you don't know this person I know sometimes mm, you can be with your peers you can be with your friends you can be with your group or workmates or at work but if it's something that you're looking for a help or you're looking for assistance in a certain office or someone who has knowledge and you need some direction and you have never met and you don't know this person I'm talking about cruise ship jobs and that's what I'm like I like guiding you guys about but we got into aspects of details of how we can crack these jobs and easily manage to get your job faster on cruise ship today because I've been able to see most of you writing here and there, writing, dropping in messages, dropping in. To me, it's okay because you understand. I know you guys and I, you know me. That's why even if I will not uh, <laughs> handle this, but let me just handle this part first before I show you some of the places you need to have cruise ship jobs, careers, jobs where you need to apply, some of the open positions, working at sea, sailing and working on big ships and yachts. I'll show you some of these jobs. Remember, this is honest. I do this for free of charge. But if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one personal identification, where you need to get a guidance from me, I do charge a little amount so that I can guide you, and you'll be, I'll be your guider and mentor until you get this job on cruise ship at a certain fee. That's what I do. So perhaps you'll be looking for someone to take you through. Then I'm here. Will you just write to me and then but? I've realized there's something wrong somewhere. Maybe that's what is turning you off. You might have a good CV, you might have a good knowledge, you might have enough experience, or you have never uh, you, you you have never been on the ship. Yes, but because of how you introduce yourself and how you write to recruiters and how you introduce yourself will turn you to give you a job or not. Perhaps this person is looking at your letter, is looking at your CV, you're good. But how you program, how you program, you, how do you, you phrase your, your writing, your <laughs> application letter? Or it can be an, a message on Messenger, or it can be an inbox on Instagram, or a Skype message to someone about something. And then you just write because they have told you, okay, can you write to this email and send your documents and ensure that these documents are in this format and introduce yourself tell about yourself and then send your cv sometimes we tell you just send your cv please do not just send your cv write something about yourself try to introduce yourself try to tell this person who are you and what are you professionally in the language that you're using use some keywords in that statement it doesn't take you long it doesn't carry in, pay you it doesn't pain you when you use those humble words 
please avoid these words hi hey avoid these words like boss how are you boss what are you doing boss hey are you available can we chat no if i've given you my number if you know this is honest and you want to talk to honest because you have seen honest doing a powerful job and you have, you want to go in box you want to ask something better use a certain like this introduce yourself first of all tell us your name tell us where you're from tell us what you want who are you what do you do daily what are some of the things you want to know how do you want us to assist you okay these are some of the things that they look very simple but they can turn you off and you miss a very big opportunity on cruise ship or any other job that you'll be looking for if you're moving from one you want to go abroad or anything or you want you want a guide and someone to guide you and maybe this person will be very helpful to you but because you introduce your introduction or how you send in your <laughs> your 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 your, your, power, your your letter or how you you wanted to someone to help you you just like a casual person let us avoid these things let us not take everyone just for granted it's important that you respect everyone especially when it comes to letters when it comes to messages when it comes to inboxing someone don't just write ah oh, i want you to ask me who are you why, why? no they write like this that's how they write how are you how are you boss are you available look look at that okay there someone is writing to me like hi i can see you are online can you help me i know i can help you but look at how you introduce yourself just just write hi i hope this message finds you well my name is juliet from this this and this i have seen your content online it's a very powerful content it's very nice and i got interested after you talking about it this is what i want you to assist me i have gone to school but i have i have achieved one two three four five and i want you to assist me is it possible that i can get assistance from you i'll be glad if you replied my message and i need your guidance then i'll also chip in look at that so someone has given you his name he has given you these are my documents can you go through them and advise me accordingly i'll be very glad waiting on you look at that that is a very nice short message and very polite and someone you can take time and look at it and say but someone writing to you hi boss these are my papers can you check for me look at that sometimes if this is what is, is what how you're writing to these employers then i'm sorry some of you might be denied some of you might miss out opportunities just being polite and courtesy missing this is going to cut you off i'm just talking about this because i understand that courtesy is very important even if you use hi ma'am or if you know the person but look at it you don't know the person how are you hi is this uh, this is this or so or i go to your mess or let me let me give an example look here my name is honest digits i'm writing to you concerning crucial jobs i got your your number from one of my friends who is a very very follower of your content online i've had you doing a very great job thanks for enlightening us it's a privilege we have someone like you who is sharing out this content for free but sir i have a concern my i have been working as a, such a such a office, office messenger and throughout my years i've never worked anywhere in a restaurant i'm looking for your assistance i have my cv but it's not yet up to standard i would like you to look up to it and help me to at least play around with it so it it's look at that i'll be glad if you replied my message waiting sign your name i have attached here my cv please can you find time and look, go through them yeah this is how you can introduce someone will go through it's a professional way but look at someone writing hi boss what are you hi hoy hey chai i don't know chu chess chess i 
let us not be too casual, many ladies and gentlemen. It will, lim- it will limit us to go to the higher level. Sometimes, some of us, even you get someone who is pissed off. He pisses you, pisses you off, but he's your manager. He's your senior. He's someone who is above you, right? But he pisses you off. But you just humble. And when you are told to write, you write something positive and go away. Tenda memma, nenda, zako. That's what we do. So please, can I take you to one of the cruise ship jobs and show you some of the jobs that you're looking for on cruise ship? Take note on that, it will be very powerful. This is another site where you need to check and it also have, they have also jobs. I want us to go slowly together so we can see what it's all about. So excellent recruitment have been providing life-changing career opportunities since 2000. So you read about them in the first place and then uh, down here there are different opportunities automation operation entertainment rigor and stage hand and then there is also youth activities as a consular general technician or ship wipe there is a show control technician world this entertainment host and so many more so this is what they say they say chatting your success your dream job and then sail to the world of possibilities. So support, they also support onboarding, seamless onboarding experience. And then more than recruitment, nurturing and everything. Discover life-changing opportunities face to face. So they are, there is an excellent recruitment 2024 giveaway. It's a social media competition event. There is also Plaza Focus, uh, Disney Cruise and Career at Sea. There's a bit a theater show, event. There are different types of events, although they are happening not in uh, in Africa, creating memorable candidates. Uh, so um, there are different things you would see here and images, and that's their number. Anyway, what I wanted to see is to explore opportunities so let's see let's explore opportunities available so you can see um what are these opportunities discover opportunities hot opportunities they're here so automation operator this is entertainment rigor and stage hand just general technician ship wide so uh, you can click in any way, in any position that you're looking for. Like, for example, these are uh, general technician ship wide. So, these are all Disney Cruise and Ship, and it's currently recruiting the position of general technician ship wide. So, what you do, your responsibilities are here. Read them, then your post qualifications are here. Entertainment vest and then additional role. This is a shipboard role. So this is the responsibilities. Dream record. Okay. And about Disney. So you can apply from there. Conditions are provided for you as part of your contract. So how long does the contract? Contracts are usually four to six months in duration. At the end of you at the end you will have a break of around six to eight weeks before returning to the ship. And uh, how many hours of work will I be working? An average a crew member works seven days per week up to eight to 12 hours per day. So what are the requirements to work on board, especially Disney? There are, minim- there are minimum experience requirements for each position on board Disney Cruise Line. Each candidate will have a related reason to experience in the position when applying. And then they are asking about salary. In short, it depends on the role and it could be based on your level of experience. If you reach out to us, the team will be happy to share further information because salary is uh, what non work related activities are available for crew members and managers. They line up to provide fun and relaxing opportunities for crew members to wind down after a day at work from trivia nights, karaoke, movie. Crew members, there are a number of special experience to them. Then, um, 
paperwork do I need? You need a valid passport, pass medical assessment, and uh, possibly require visas and a criminal background check. Don't worry, our team are there to guide you. So what ship will I work on? Ship placement depends on the operation needs. When a crew member is extended a contract, this is to work for the cruise line at a specific ship assignments will come at a later time. So this they are asking if there is an additional advancement in terms of in work. In addition, the beginning of a career with this line, all new crew members and officers receive in-depth onboarding and training. So don't worry about that. If you're a technician, uh, this is inter and then we have automation. Technician, this is where you need to apply. Then youth activity counselor. Mm -hmm. There is a show controller. I don't know. This one is more of a... Let me see. Let's read this one. Join Disney Cruise Line as a youth activities counselor. Create magical moments. For three to 17 years, kids on board travel the world and grow professionally. So, Disney Cruise Line, she based, we currently recruiting the position of youth activity counselor for this. So, what they happen is every day at Disney Cruise Line, uh, kids, what, responsibility, children dealing with the kids, and youth prepare food trays for kids during meal and snack times. Help organize adult or family activities scheduled. So this is the requirements. You go through it. So this is our website. It's called Excellent Recruitment. And they are hiring everywhere. So they're recruiting for Disney Cruise Line. I don't think they're doing with any other. Okay. They have also events. You can check events. For those ones, maybe if you are... <laughs> I don't think if most Africa so Plaza leads there is ABT theater show there's Disney Cruise Line so this one's happening in London in the UK so in case if you're looking for a Disney Cruise Line uh, agency that's hiring for Disney Cruise Line is excellent recruitment I'll leave a link in the description for you guys I'm happy to have shared with you see you in my next video